Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with your super fast ninja review of the app Tasker. Now, Tasker is uh, the most, probably the most advanced app available for Android. Uh, it almost allows you to reprogram your Android or to program your Android or to create programs for your Android to make it do things that uh, you want it to do. That's uh, the best way I can describe it. Because of that, it's kind of complex. There's a tons of different uh, settings and variables and things you can change inside of it and things you can do with it. So the in-depth review is really the review to watch to uh, get all the information, but I'm gonna do my best to do a super fast ninja review and just hit the highlights of Tasker. So let's hop on my phone and I'm gonna see if I can make this happen. Okay, so you're saying, Eric, what's so good about this Tasker thing? Well, I'll show you for example. I hit the power button on my phone to cut my screen off. I hit the power button on my phone and my screen comes back on. How come there's no lock button? That's because I have a Tasker task set up that toggles the lock automatically when I turn my screen off and on so that I don't have to go through a lock button, a uh, little lock drag down, because I don't think I need to. I'm not accidentally going to hit that button, uh, press that button hard enough to turn my phone on in my pocket, so I don't want to have to go through the lock screen, so I don't because of Tasker. Um, what's another example? Well, if you see right here, you can see screen on, no power. Because my screen is, my phone is not connected to power right now, my uh, screen will time out in two minutes. But if I connect my phone to power, then my screen will never time out. Why is that? Because I have a tasker task set up for that. I also have this little, it's called TE2. Basically what that means is uh, if I'm ever near the two cell towers that are near my home that, I, uh, that reach me when I'm at home, it'll cut my Wi-Fi on. That just helps me out in case I get home, I haven't had my Wi-Fi on and I forget to turn it back on, that'll turn it on for me. Right here is an example of a, uh, a tasker timer. Uh, basically, you set this to execute a specific task, um, and then when you press the little button, you can set the time you want that to execute, and you click check, and it'll start timing down when it gets down to the final time. It'll execute that task. Right now, that task is Wi-Fi off, but you could have it set to do anything, and there's a million things you can do. I'm gonna turn that timer off, because I don't necessarily want Wi-Fi off, but let's just jump into tasker real quick, and I'm just gonna show you how much there is. Um, profiles, these are the things that you want to trigger uh, a task, and uh, it's what happens, um, and there's a lot of them. We're not going to look at all of them. You can watch the long review for that. But basically, uh, whenever a certain application, or certain, and you can pick however many applications you want, when they open, you can have a certain thing happen. At a certain time, you can have a certain thing happen. On a certain day of the week, or a specific date, or a specific month, or whatever, you can have something happen. Uh, you can have something happen based on location. You can have something based, happen based on the state of the phone, and that's the state of an app, uh, the net, sensor, hardware, phone, power variable, a lot of different things there, or a certain event in your phone, whether it's a date and time event, file event, phone event, sensor event, UI event, uh, third party events, display event, hardware event, power system variable, a lot of different things there. Um, and when that, you can have more than one of these, so you could have when a certain thing happens, like when I turn my phone screen on, uh, on Friday, between two and three, I want this to happen. You can do that. It's, there's a million different things you can do. Uh, second is task. Now, the first one is, what do you want uh, to make that task happen? And then this task, or what happens? So again, there's a whole lot of things you can have happen here, as you'll see. And you can have multiple things happen. But these are all the possibilities. Alerts, audio, input, miscellaneous, phone, scene, task, variable, app, display, file, media, net, plugin, and in each one of these, there's a gazillion things. Just for example, on display, auto brightness, display brightness, display timeout, key guard pattern, night mode, status bar, system lock, car mode, tons of different things, tons of different things. And then you have scenes. These are, uh, I'll show you what a scene is in a minute on my phone, and variables. I, Tasker can use variables for certain tasks, and that's what those are for. So you can see your variables. Um, you'll see some of, the, some of the things that I have set up. Um, a lot of uh, different things here. Amazon free. Every morning when my alarm goes off, uh, it automatically awaits two minutes, and then it switches all my sounds volumes back up, and it also opens Amazon App Store so that I can make sure I check to see what the free app of the day is. So various things there. Uh, the scene thing, if I shake my phone, you know, the scene will pop up. Let's see, there you go. This is a scene that I created, uh, and I've assigned a button to do a... I am the almighty Android phone. That's what that does. If I swipe this way, then it does just shows that I did it, but you can have that trigger a task as well. If I tap it, then it triggers, yeah. But you can have that activate a million different things. So there's a whole lot of different things you can do uh, with Tasker. Uh, I don't have time to show them all in this quick review, but that's just a little slight overview of just a few things. Watch my in-depth review to see more of the details of the app. So that is Tasker. Uh, again, if you want all the information, you're just going to have to watch the in-depth review. Even my in-depth review, there's just no way in a video you could go through everything. I mean, as I say in the in-depth review, you, you could teach a, a several-month-long course on Tasker because 
it's that advanced and allows you to do that much. But hopefully this gave you a really quick overview and an idea of a few of the things you can do. Maybe piques your interest and uh, you can watch the in-depth review if you want to know more. Anyway, uh, until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.